So, as promised, guys, after reviewing Chuck Wazy, we also have Sungare to review. Of course, this is quite an interesting card. Ivory Coast are the underdogs for the final of AFCON, but Nottingham Forest Premier League is quite interesting, honestly. Because there's not too many good CDMs on this game, full stop. And there's certainly not too many good CDMs in the Premier League, unless you've got Team of the Year Rodri. Four star weak foot, three star skills, medium high, six foot three, mostly lengthy as well. And he has got block plus ping pass, slide tackle, bruiser, and press proven. He can only play centre mid other than CDM, but it is nice to have them two positions. More so the kind of centre mid role, right? Because quite often on out and out CDMs, you don't get centre mid. This card does have that. In games are quite nice as well. He's got a decent pace split. His shooting is absolutely terrible. You're not going to be doing too much shooting with him anyway. But his shooting is not good in the slightest. Passing is okay. Vision. Short pass and long pass is all right. Crossing, free kick, accuracy, and curve, bringing that down. He's actually got okay dribbling as well. 74 agility, but outside of that, really, really good dribbling stats for a CDM. Defensively, very, very solid in the right areas as well. 99 slide tackle with the chem style. We've got applied 94 stand tackle, 91 defensive awareness, and 98 inceptions. Not too bad in the air either. 80 jump in with six foot three frame is nice. 87 stamina is very good as well. 93 strength and 81 aggression. There is an argument to be made that the anchor's a little bit better on this card to boost up that aggression a little bit. But I like the shadow for the big boost to the pace. Plus 8 to the pace means he's going up to 90 base pace now as well. Passing's already good enough in my opinion. Dribbling is certainly good for a CDM. And of course, boosting up the defensive stats I think is important. It's very, very nice on this card to see ping pass. If he didn't have ping pass, I don't even think I'd be reviewing him. Because I think he'd just be another run-of-the-mill CDM on this game. But that really does change things. Block plus is quite irrelevant. But I do think this is a decent card. It'll be interesting to see how he does dribble with press proven as well. Because that is a very good play style for heavy players. It kind of negates the fact that they are heavy. Press proven does. And if he gets the plus two, which, as I've already told you, Ivory Coast are the underdogs. 84, 85 pace, 72, 73 shooting. 85 passing, you'd hope, with a big boost to the vision. 86, 87, 88 dribbling on a card like this would be mad. 88 defending and 90 physical. I think it's awesome. This card is actually looking really, really good for only an 86 rated squad and an inform. Stay with all attacking and cover center for him. Let's get into a few games and see what he can do. If you need cheap, fast, and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to mmoexp.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. All right, guys. So this is actually the second game with Sangare, but the first game was a bit boring and also the guy rage quit very, very quickly. Not really felt too much from Sangare in that game. Um, I do like the weak foot. I do also find that the ping pass is quite valuable on him. And now we've got a sweaty game, which is exactly what we wanted to test out this card. What I was saying from a selfish point of view as well, this card makes a lot of sense for me. Um... It's gone through him, man. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, this card makes a lot of sense for me because I've got Erbedorf, right? Erbedorf's a good centre-back, but Sangare's going to be a better centre-back, right? Which I think is quite self-explanatory. Wow. Wow. He's got many bright. Okay, he's got a lot of good players here. Ooh, I, I tell you something, though, guys. Like, I haven't really felt this card at all defensively yet. At all. Um, and it's, you know, he's on stable while attacking. So we should be getting some quality out of him defensively already. But it's kind of hard, Jesus Christ, to jockey with him. He's quite heavy on the jockeying. There's not really a solution to that. You're just going to have to put up with it a little bit. Um, as you can see, look at that touch. Considering he's got really good dribbling, I'm expecting a bit more from him there. He's, he is very, very heavy on the dribbling. Like, oh, man. Very, very poor dribbling-wise so far, guys. For someone that has quite cool dribbling for a big man, I have not been impressed with it in the slightest. Oh, piss-off game. Starting to annoy, annoy me now. Here he is again. We need that physical from you here, buddy. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Not, not spectacular by any stretch. Not impressed so far, guys. Not impressed at all. Yeah, suck on that, mate. Suck on that. Sweaty Donny. There we go. 1-1. One, one. And, yeah. Stress relieved just a little bit now. Nice. Can he find that? Yes. Now, that is what I do quite like about him, I have to say. Um, is the, the ping pass is really good. 
His, his general ball play is, is, is okay, but you can't really trust him on the ball for too long because of how heavy he does feel. You don't want him in these kind of positions he's at right now. But if he can find that kind of pass and Bruno could finish his dinner, that's okay, right? Um, you know, it's it's just a it's just a bit strange for me using someone this heavy in the like midfield. I'm not used to it, and I haven't been used to it for a while. He is good though, man. He he's good at what is required from the position he's playing. I, in my opinion, anyway, right? You know, he does feel heavy on the jockeying. There's no doubt about that. And um, this card is kind of made to play centre back, but of course he doesn't have it. I might try him at centre back in the second half of this game if we go that far. Now, you don't really feel lengthy on this game anymore, especially not when you're out of possession. Yeah, this guy's really good. So, you don't get to feel like the effects of the kind of increased pace you get from lengthy, um, which is a bit annoying, for sure. But, he does make up for it with the, you know, the block, block plus is not really too good on players that are not centre-backs. It's not a very good play style anyway, if I'm being completely and utterly honest. That is nice from him. Now, can he find this pass too? Nice through ball there. He's, he's got okay passing. I'll give him that. Stop stop play locking, brother. Stop thinking you're sick. I definitely think so far, guys, this is the worst out of the two cards. Passing is very nice when you get it right, though. Oh, good save from Hugo there. Very good save. And you do just want him to sit kind of like deep and just kind of dictate where he can. That's nice. I think this card's made as a centre-back, guys, personally. I think this card's a lot better suited to the centre-back role than he is your midfield. Um, he's just a little bit too heavy for me. But if you put him in centre-back, you're going to get incredibly good passing. Look at that. He's got a bloody shadow, for Christ's sake, man. I am not impressed really that much with this card sadly a little bit heavy a little bit lethargic and i did not understand that pace from him there he is good in the air as well well you've got to give him that but mm. yeah this card's a bit mid isn't it if we're being real definitely definitely not good as a midfielder of course, when you've got him on the ball like this, he's going to be okay because he is lengthy. And what I talked about, you know, out of possession, you don't feel it. In possession, you really do feel it. Okay. And I think for me personally, this card's very good because I've got Herbadorf. and allows me to kind of switch positions. But generally speaking, guys, I'm not the biggest fan. Let's go to some highlights. Need you here, Sangar. Mm. If you misplace a tackle with him, because he hasn't got to anticipate... You are going to struggle massively, I think, because you need to kind of win that first ball back. If you don't, if, if you make the tackle and you miss it, you're just not going to be able to recover with him. It's a nice pass. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit unlucky as well. Easy. Bit of press proven there as well. Nice. He's good in these kind of positions because, you know, he's physical and he's got press proven. It has to be a foul ref, yeah. He's a uh, he's just a bit a bit too heavy for my liking, though. You know. All right, guys. Just to tell you, I moved him into centre back now. I feel like he's going to be a lot better here than he was in midfield. So we're going to have to test out and see what happens. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. That's more like it. Hmm. That could be a bit on me, guys, but. He really doesn't like jockeying at a good speed. Considering he's got decent agility and balance, I expect a little bit more from him in that department, but his jockeying is almost non-existent. That's where I need him. Oh, guys. Mm, I don't like this card very much. <laughs> That's where I need you, man. Oh, he... Mm, guys... He's got a goddamn shadow on and he feels so bloody slow. Come on, Sungar. That's better. No, he's so shit. Oh, dear. Oh, guys. This is a terrible card. Uh, this guy's a good player that I'm playing here, right? And that's how I know this card is bang, bang average. Holy. 
Yeah, just don't do this card, guys. I mean, he has let me down in this game massively. And that, that's enough for me to know that we've got on our hands here a card that does not play to his stats. Ew. Really, really disappointed. Okay, guys, so I know some of you are going to sit here and you're going to say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I am telling you, this is one of the most terrible cards I have seen at this rating. And he looks so promising, right? He's got good dribbling stats. His passing is good. And his passing is good in-game. That's absolutely 100% true. Defensively, he's okay. And physically, he's okay. Block plus is absolutely terrible. Go and watch the gameplay if you don't believe me. Um, press proven is okay on a card like this. But you don't really feel it too much. Because he feels so, so heavy in-game. That pace feels like an absolute lie as well. He feels like he's got genuinely like 75, 78 pace, even with a shadow applied as well. Very, very slow. Absolutely disappointed with this card. Didn't like him at centre-back. Thought I was going to like him more at centre-back. Didn't like him there. Didn't like him in CDM either. You can't play this card as a box-to-box. -box. He has to be a CDM on stay all attacking or a centre-back. And just an absolute disappointment man I, i'm really really upset with how bad this card plays in game because you know you look at the ping pass you think okay that's cool block plus is whatever as i've said to you i don't really like it bruiser is good slide tackle pointless and press proven is good as well i think the problem is he needed either jockey intercept or anticipate as the playstyle plus and i think you would have been laughing sadly because of the playstyle competition he's got because he feels insanely slow in game this is a must-avoid SBC. He's going straight into another SBC once I get the opportunity to. Really, really disappointed. He's going to be a 3 out of 10. No, that's even too much. He's a 1 out of 10. Bad at centre-back, bad at CDM. Do not complete this SBC. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to subscribe to you. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.